Hello, my name is Peggy Cohen Thompson and I'm your host today on our informational conversations pertain pertaining to economic enterprise in the city of Vallejo. I have a guest today, Mrs. Uh, Jane Garcia. She's the Chief Executive Officer of La Clinica and I believe the headquarters office is in Oakland. That's right. All right, welcome to the show today. Thank you, it's good to be here. So if you could just um, give a little information, I'll tell you how I called you in to do this. I heard a presentation by two of your other um, staff people and I thought that our city should have a better understanding of the Kalenica, what they do, where they started, who they are, and what services that they provide and what value they bring to the community. So I understand there's some new things going on with La Kalenica. So I'll just hand it over. Remember, we're just conversations. It's <laughs> not an interview. So Jane, you want to go ahead and, and talk to us a little bit about La Kalenica? Sure. Uh, this May, La Clinica turned 46 years old. So we're a mature organization. Uh, we started out in Oakland, uh, really with UC Berkeley students who did a need, needs assessment in, uh, in Alameda County in the Fruitvale District and found that there were no health services for the Latino community. Mm -hmm. So uh, got organized, started out as a free clinic and uh, pretty much started adding services after that. So today, uh, 46 years later, uh, we have an operating budget of about $103 million. We employ 1,000 people, uh -huh. and we serve 85,000 uh, people throughout uh, Alameda County, Contra Costa, and Solano County. Wonderful. So tell me, when did you come into the Vallejo area? Well, in, in Oakland, as you know, it's the headquarter of Kaiser Permanente, and right. we've always had a very good relationship with Kaiser. And um, one of our sister clinics in Vallejo was really, really struggling, and we got a call from Kaiser asking us to consider coming into the city. So we did. We had discussions with uh, the health center, and uh, both parties agreed to having us take over the management of the clinic, which is currently in, on Georgia Street. Mm -hmm. So we started there in 2002. It went very well. And pretty much within four years, we were approached by uh, the county uh, to open up a dental clinic, which we did. Oh, a dental clinic. A dental clinic, and it's uh, on Sonoma. We're big dental providers. So what is the name of the dental clinic? It's all La Clinica. This oh, one is La Clinica, Clinica Dental. Mm -hmm. and Give us uh, an address for the, the, the uh, listeners. It's on Sonoma uh, Boulevard. Okay. And. Uh, I don't know the address. That's okay. It's on Sonoma <laughs> Boulevard. <clears throat> Go ahead. And uh, so then right after that, uh, we had discussions with Sutter and uh, took over their prenatal clinic. Really? So we, st we are big prenatal uh, providers. Uh, in, on, a, on average, we do almost 1,500 deliveries a year. So big really? time uh, prenatal care. Uh, providers. Okay. So we did that and then uh, then we were invited to open up an urgent care like uh, center right behind um, on Hospital Drive mm. uh, which uh, we currently still operate. So, so urgent care, what is that? Like emergencies? Some, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so we do a number of things. Um, we are really working in partnership with the other providers here, Sutter, Kaiser, mm -hmm. and wanting to uh, make sure that people are getting care at the appropriate place. Okay. And uh, we believe that we are a medical home uh, with a big emphasis on prevention. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think that prevention is uh, the best place to get care, and there we can emphasize, you know, vaccinations and mm -hmm. uh, diet. And uh, I think through that process of becoming a medical home, we do help people stay healthy mm -hmm. and keep out of the emergency room. And uh, we also do care coordination. So if you do end up needing to be hospitalized, we do coordinate that care and make sure that our patients get the best possible care. Oh, okay. So um, more recently, um, we have uh, bought a building on Georgia Street, which yes, is about- Yes, tell me uh, about this building Yeah, we're on so Georgia excited Street about and that. what it's, that means to the community. Yeah, it's, it's two blocks from where we already have a, a clinic on Georgia mm -hmm. Street. 
and this is a building that's been vacant for a long, long time. I know the building very well. It's the old J.C. Penney yes, building. It is. Yes, it is. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and um, so our dream is to consolidate our dental clinic there and the medical clinic and actually have more capacity. So we're really excited about that. Um, you know, I, I like to tell folks that we're not just about healthcare. Mm -hmm. We are absolutely about economic uh, development as well. And uh, that's something uh, that uh, has been instilled in me in my career there. And we've seen it because um, we have a big commitment uh, to hiring from the community. Right. Talk a little bit about that. Yes. What um, kind of job opportunities might be open with the um, having a single location and having all the services there? I know that you're going to be bringing uh, the employees from the other uh, locations, but surely there will be some positions that oh, would absolutely. be Oh, absolutely. There, there will be some opportunities for employment there. And again, you know, we take great pride in hiring from the committee and training. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, so, you know, the, the biggest classification in of employees in our organization are the people in the f that greet you at the front, that That's are right. clerks, that are mm -hmm. um, uh, in, insurance billers, uh, okay. etc. So mm -hmm. these are all jobs that we will train, and uh, our, we are a union shop, so these are okay. union uh, wages. Okay. Uh, we are hiring medical assistants, dental assistants, nurses, nurse practitioners, mm -hmm. uh, behaviorists. So we have mm -hmm. a pretty large array of opportunities uh, for employment. We have a thousand employees uh, throughout the, the Bay Area. Oh, really? We do. All right. And we have a number of relationships um, with uh, UCSF and uh, Turo and other learning institutions. So that's also part of the training that we, uh, that we do, that we take great pride in, in doing. All right. When I'm looking here at um, the little informational sheet that I received at the meeting that I attended before, um, you serve um, all ages, mostly women and children. And I see here that it's 56% uh, female and 28% children. And um, you do private insurance, Medi-Cal, Medicare, and you service the uninsured as well. Absolutely. So you're right. We take all of all kinds of uh, insurances, including no insurance. Okay. And uh, we do have what is called a sliding fee scale, mm -hmm. uh, and people pay uh, according to their ability to pay, and there is a determination that we uh, we do. But we uh, take pride in saying you are our member, you are part of our family, and we are committed to you. Mm -hmm. And so that means uh, making available to you a large array of services. So it isn't like a Kaiser where you have to be a member and pay a monthly fee? No, no, we do say membership, uh -huh. uh, but it's not an annual f or a monthly fee like that. All right, okay. So and in yeah. fact, one of the things that I think we do really well is help people maneuver through all the different opportunities to, um, to get Medi-Cal, Medicare, there's all kinds of opportunities there, and we often help people to get on WIC or SNAP or any other program like that that people may need. Great. Again, this is Peggy Thompson. I'm your host for, for Perspectives, and uh, my guest is Jane Garcia, Chief Executive Officer of La Clinica, and we're talking about um, what's coming up in the future for Vallejo for the La Clinica facilities that are going to locate downtown which will be convenient for most people because they have the bus service. They just come into the, the central station there, transit station. There's ample parking and um, there'll be additional services, I'm sure, that will be available to the clients or the patients that come in and out of La Clinica based on uh, businesses come where there is a need. So it's certainly going to enhance our downtown. I'm looking here, I do see here that the dental office at present is at 2920 <laughs> Sonoma <you>. Boulevard. <laughs> and um, I'm not sure if this is particular to Vallejo, but it says they serve 4,300 patients? That's correct, and that is specific to, to Vallejo. Okay, all yeah. right. 
as I mentioned, we have uh, you know 70 operatories throughout the Bay Area, and one of the the services that we manage are the uh, the dental clinic at Children's Hospital. Oh, really? So that's a very special program mm -hmm. uh, that where we're helping children that are medically uh, compromised or need some special attention or are going to have a heart transplant mm -hmm. or any service like that and often their first stop with us as we determine and make sure that there's no infection in the mouth mm -hmm. before a young child goes into surgery. And the reason that I mention that to you is that a third of the children that are seen there are coming from Vallejo. Wonderful. So that is kind of a regional service that we're providing with a third coming from Contra Costa, a third from Solano County, and then a third from Alameda County. So with the Vallejo City Unified School District, as far as the medical services that you provide across the line for, I see, de medical, dental, behavioral health, um, and health education services, do you have any ongoing uh, or upcoming partnerships that you'll be doing with uh, the Vallejo City Unified School District? We, uh, we love school-based health centers, and we have eight already in Alameda County, and mm -hmm. we're currently partnering with Wiedemann, and oh, we're doing yeah. a dental screening there. This is uh, gonna be our second year, and we are having discussions about whether it makes sense for us to also have a medical clinic there. So mm -hmm. while we're uh, outstationed at Wiedemann, we are seeing patients from some of the surrounding schools. Okay, so and you know, what we found of, on that is that when there are school services on site, mm -hmm. um, we keep the children in school. Yes. And dental is one of the uh, big reasons why children miss school, uh, tooth pain, mm -hmm. tooth decay. Mm -hmm. And all of that is preventable. And so th having uh, that kind of service on the schools and having the ability to do early intervention That's uh, very really, key. really is a win-win for, for everybody. That's wonderful. And uh, Wiedemann School is located in College Park. Correct. Right. Um, I'm Don't ask me for an address. No, I'm very <laughs> familiar. With this is the only school that's across from the Little League uh, field there in uh, right adjacent to the... Uh, Boys and Girls Club. You know, so, when we keep children in school, guess what? The schools get more money. Absolutely. So it's a win-win. Absolutely. And I'm looking here in, in terms of economic development that you're providing uh, jobs uh, in the dental clinic, and that would be for dentists, and it says the average salary is $73,000. Oh, well, that's not for the dentists. Dentists make more than that, but yeah, overall. Oh, so for the uh, clinicians, they... Um, they right. They the are, you know, these are... All the girls these... I see before I actually get to the dental <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Right. Well, that's a good but you, salary. You, you, you said girls, and you know that a lot of um, the healthcare industry is made up of women. Yeah. So this has a really great impact on on our ability to hire women, and um, that's also part of our commitment. Mm -hmm. Now I see behavioral health. Is that for um, people that have um, anxieties, is that what the, what is behavioral health? You tell me, I won't presume Behavioral health, and this is a new concept that we've been rolling out perhaps over the last two years. Uh, we have a mental health service, for example, in Alameda County, um, serving a, a population that's very complicated. Mm -hmm. But behavioral health is integrated into the medical services, and you know, we all have problems at one time or another, mm -hmm. some level of anxiety or or, you know, getting bullied at home mm -hmm. or on the way to school. And um, this allows the clinician, the medical doctor or nurse practitioner to do a handoff, to make an introduction to a licensed clinical social worker or an MFT. Mm -hmm. And um, we have found great success in that. It's short-term counseling. And um, it's, it's really a nice uh, approach, and we're getting some really good feedback, uh, certainly from patients, but our physicians and our clinical staff love it too. This right. is not what they've been trained to do, and being able to hand it over to a professional who that's, that's what they do right. is really a so good service. So we don't have any professionals here so do we forward them over to, say, Open Alameda? Or oh, would no, 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 we will have come over here. No, no, we have uh, our, our physicians are part, our regular staff. Oh, okay. Yes, All right. absolutely. Very good. Very good. 
very good. Yes. Um, I'm just reading here um, about the urgent care. I know we spoke a little bit about that before we came online on camera. Um, talk about urgent care. There are a lot of people, we have a lot of um, non-English speaking people here, and at any time you want to um, iterate something in your language, do that. Because Muy bien, we gracias. are a community uh, service station here. So, and we do have Spanish speaking programs, so feel free to iterate something. I will, thank you. In a language you. that someone may understand uh, better than our just normal English conversation. So talk a little bit about that urgent care. You know, the hospitals um, are really suffering from um, the number of people that are walking in for urgent care and um, reimbursement tends to be very low for the hospitals. So this is a partnership that, that we have done with both Sutter and Kaiser Permanente. Um, Kaiser and Sutter, of course, helped us to uh, create this, uh, this site where we're able to, somebody shows up at the urgent care and they have a cut and you know, the hospital will see them, but in terms of their follow-up appointment, that appointment is made at our site. And once we have you inside the clinic, then we make sure that, uh, you know, all your preventative medicine, your shots, your screenings are all up to date. Mm -hmm. And um, so this is part of the service that we do. And our hope is that you become, that we become your medical home in that process. Mm -hmm. And by doing so, then, you know, you're going to get calls from us when you're due for your next uh, pap smear or your next... Uh, a physical exam and that's you know that's the beauty of uh, having a medical home like that wonderful and I'm looking here at the diverse patient population and uh, according to this sheet that I have it's 64 percent Latino 11 percent uh, African American and uh, 9 percent Asian and Pacific Island is that correct that is? correct oh. but you know what in Vallejo it's it's a little bit different so actually 22% of the people that we serve are African American. Oh, okay. Yes, and 49% are Latino. So I, I uh, took a look, quick look at the, the census and it approximates very closely uh, who we're seeing approximates mm -hmm. the population uh, in Vallejo. All right, now in our closing, uh, what facilities will um, merge into the new location on Georgia Street? Name. So we will bring the, the, the clinic that's already there on uh, Georgia Street. Right. So that health center and will come over. the 200 block, And yes. then the dental clinic uh, on, on Sonoma, Sonoma will come over as well. Um, the clinic on, on Hospital Drive will stay where it is because the proximity to the hospital is very important and a, and a must have there. But um, we intend to also have optometry uh, which is a new service and a uh, service that we're not currently providing. And um, we also find that a lot of people just don't go through the, through the screening and, mm -hmm. and uh, being able to come there and uh, get glasses at our cost really helps a lot of families. Wonderful. So the last few minutes, would you speak to um, the Latino community? and just tell them about what's coming up and to be on the lookout. Now, I don't speak Spanish, <laughs> so I'm going to trust that you're going to give them the information that they need in this last minutes of wrapping up our conversation. Uh, a nuestros amigos en Vallejo les damos las buenas noticias que esperamos abrir un nuevo centro de salud en Vallejo que va a tener más capacidad y va a poder ver más pacientes y además de eso ofrecer más servicios incluyendo optometría. Ojalá que vengan a visitarnos y hacerse miembros de la clínica. Thank you. Um, if you've enjoyed this show, we urge you to consider being a member, producer, or even a sponsor. And if there's other information that you would like to um, have an understanding of contact this office and we will I will make sure that we have a representative that will give the information that you're looking for again I'm Peggy Thompson host of the show and this is Jane Garcia the chief executive officer of La Clinica in the Oakland office thank you Jane for being thank with you us today. I really enjoyed being here All right.